I am going to show you something now that breaks every single rule that you will learn at culinary college. This recipe should not work, but it does, OK? And because it's the last masterclass of the year, I wanted to do really the, the staff of life, the most simple thing, just bread and jam. But the difference about this bread is there's no need to knead it. This is radical stuff. So, salt, one tablespoon. Kilo of strong bread flour. Tablespoon of yeast. And finally, 950 mils of lukewarm water. All you do here is pour this in and stir it in. This is about the most work you're gonna have to do to make this bread. Once you've seen this recipe, you will never buy bread again and you'll never stress about making bread. That's all there, we're done, bread made. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bank the fridge overnight covered with um, cling wrap. What you get, and this is one of those freaky science moments, is that. Oh. It's a really wet dough. There's a lot of water in it for a dough, and it puffs up like that, oh. gives you lovely aeration. All we're gonna do with this now, bring it up to room temperature, and then bake it in a hot oven, 220, 200, for about an hour. Now, because this is such a wet dough, we're going to quite heavily flour our tray. <laughs> Yay. Yay! You see? Yay. There you are, loaf of bread. Beautiful. Bang it in your 220 oven for an hour, OK? So that's going to be a denser loaf. All this is is yeast, flour and water. Out we come, final loaf, there you go. Done. Done. Ski. Jam. This is the simplest of raspberry jams. So, a kilo frozen raspberries plus 800 of sugar. And the sugar's there to preserve jam and heat. Never leave them alone. Um, because what will happen is, at first, uh, the danger is this will burn. And then when the jam starts to get really hot, it bubbles up massively in the pot. Raspberries tend to have quite a high level of pectin, and so they tend to make quite a good set. But to help the pectin develop, you need acid. So what we're going to add is juice of a quarter of a lemon. And I'm going to throw the skin in there as well, just to give it a bit of flavour. And it'll take about 20 minutes. You'll know it's ready because you'll feel a resistance in the jam when you stir it. A friend of mine, a wonderful jam maker called The Jam Lady, um, she says you feel it in your thighs when you push through. Daniel would understand this. You actually yeah. feel the muscles there working in your thighs. This is kind of like a Daniel workout, but with sugar. <laughs> now, while the jam's making, we've got bread, we've got jam, we'll need... Cream. Bah! Who said bah? Pepper. Bah, you've got to have butter. Now, butter is easy to make. It's just a bit of hard work. One of the great rules about Cheats Cookery is get someone else to do the work. <laughs> so, Daniel, Liliana, come forward. Take a whisk, take a bowl, and into that bowl pour 300 mils of cream, 300 mils of sour cream. I reckon Liliana might have this. Oh, easily. <laughs> Are we racing? Yeah. I'm nervous. Go. Go. Try not to make a mess, please, Daniel. Go, Liliana. We're whisking the butter. We're going to over-whisk the butter. We're going to take that stage where the fat starts to coagulate together. Look how easy she makes the look. Daniel, you're hopeless. <laughs> Put the bloody thing on your hip, more of a... That's it. Don't tell him how to do it. Use your wrist. And relax, relax. So Daniel hasn't even got a whisk going, and Liliana's is starting to come together. <gasps> oh, come on. Pressure's on now. Yeah, no, no, but you're, you're doing well. That's looking good, Daniel. Oh, Liliana, you've been giving your ass whooped. I am. Shush. Come on, I haven't got those biceps. Looking good, Daniel. Just check on our jam. Without making the same mess okay. you made with the, with the cream, I want you to just pour the jam into there. Done. There we have two jars of jam, one for you, one to give to your mum. Nice. Yeah. Thank you, Daniel, very much indeed. Thanks, Matt Preston. Big hand for Daniel, everybody. 
So now here, can you see it's got the, this is what we call the popcorn stage. It's formed into little globules, but there's still whey coming off it. If you pour some ice water just over the top of it, you can see it's still got some of that, that yeah. white milky whey coming off. I reckon we're done. Liliana, do you want to just get some, get some baking paper yep. and roll it into a log? What we're going to do is use the baking paper just to roll it. What, what's lovely to do then is to put some herbs through it, put some salt on it. On top of it? Yep. Right, now, final ta-da moment. Here we've got Ooh. our bread. Hot right. buns. Oh. Our main loaf. Wow. Nice. Ooh. Right. Oh. That sounds good, isn't it? Nice and hollow. Oh. 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 Now, now you can see, I mean, it's, that's... Oh, man, that's good. That's quite a tight and tight dough, but this, these smaller ones... Oh. Much more open. <laughs> Almost ciabatta-like in such a wet dough. So there we have it. My cheats bread, raspberry jam, and Liliana and Rishi's butter. <laughs> Tasting. Pass, pass those around.